Small is beautiful. However, small can also be fragile. Small island developing states, or SIDs, face a unique set of development challenges due to their extreme vulnerability to external shocks and climate change. Sea level rise, storms, coastline loss, coral bleaching, and extreme weather events are ever-present threats. For example, a hurricane in Grenada caused damage of more than 200% of the island's GDP. Flooding in Kiribati has led to plans to relocate the population. And a recent tropical cyclone across the Seychelles caused damage of over 8 million US dollars. It is often difficult for small island developing states to deal with the impacts of climate change individually. However, cooperation between these states and other partners can deliver powerful mutual benefits. With this in mind, we as regional organizations of the Caribbean, Indian Ocean and the Pacific regions, in collaboration with the Commonwealth, are taking positive action to boost the resilience of small island developing states through the Climate Resilient Islands Partnership. The partners from each region are the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Programme, and the Indian Ocean Commission. Each partner has experiences and strengths to share, enabling us to build institutional capacity, deliver specialist skills and knowledge, and solve problems together. For example, Producing localized climate information is a difficult challenge for small island developing states. Working in partnership means that successful tools used in one region can now be deployed quickly in another. The use of regional plans and roadmaps for climate change action and disaster risk reduction and management helps states to become stronger together. Regional climate change portals are being used to facilitate sharing of information. This will help small island developing states make quick, informed decisions towards achieving low-carbon, climate-resilient development. Another significant challenge for small island developing states is accessing international climate funds, like the Adaptation Fund and, in the future, the Green Climate Fund. We are already working together in accessing these funds through regional level accreditation. SPREP recently achieved this accreditation to access the Adaptation Fund and is sharing lessons on its approach. We have committed to a coherent work plan and are now set for a significant expansion of activities to realize the partnership's true potential to scale up institutional support to small island developing states. Our aim is to create climate resilient islands that pool resources, share learning, and deliver joint services that are more cost-effective, efficient, and better targeted to small island developing states' needs. In this, we are seeking to join with others to deliver affordable, sustainable solutions. With more support, these states can look forward to the future and prosper. <laughs>